Hello, everyone. I am Georgos, and this is a short teaser on our paper called Gossiping for Communication Efficient Broadcast. This is a joint work with Julian Loss from CISPA and Babis Pavamantu from Yale. Authenticated broadcast is perhaps more relevant than ever due to its multiple uses in applications both in MPC and blockchains. It is basically Byzantine broadcast with the use of a public key infrastructure or PKI. PKI can be based on trusted setup or on a bulletin board. Parties can use PKI to sign messages with their own unique signatures. In this example, we have a designated sender with a specific message that they want to send to all other parties in the protocol. They basically want to broadcast the message. However, some of the parties might be corrupt and might attempt, attempt to disrupt the communication of the designated sender to all other parties. In the end of this protocol, we want all honest parties to agree on the same message. And in case where the designated sender is honest, we want all honest parties to agree on the designated sender's message. In the parallel version, we have all parties being designated senders for their own messages. And of course, they want to broadcast their own messages to all other parties in the protocol. Again, however, some of the parties might be corrupt and still we want the same properties to apply. Authenticated broadcast comes in many flavors depending on several factors, such as synchronous or asynchronous communication between parties, the number of corruptions that the adversary can achieve, which differentiate between an honest or dishonest majority setting, the setup assumptions, and whether the adversary is static or adaptive. In the setting that we first explore, we assume synchronous communication, dishonest majority in which the adversary can corrupt up to as many parties as they like, and no trusted setup. This is a setting that appears sometimes in blockchains. In this setting, the state of the art is a protocol by Dolev and Strong in 1983, this protocol achieves cubic communication in terms of the number of participants. However, cubic communication can be bad for many applications. So we were, this is the, the motivation for our work where we wanted to improve the communication of such protocols. Basically, what we wanted was to use gossiping techniques to improve the state of the art in terms of communication for protocols both in broadcast and parallel broadcast settings. Gossiping, we can think of it via this example. We have one party who wants to propagate a message to all other parties in the protocol. However, some many of the other parties might be corrupt. This party could initially send the message to all other parties in the protocol. This would incur a communication uh, linear in the number of parties. And this could happen per round of the protocol, for example, incurring increased communication. However, he could instead choose a small number of participants, send the message to them. In turn, they could send the message to multiple other parties and so on and so forth until a few rounds later, every party receives the message. This is gossiping. What we show is that we can use gossiping to improve the Dolev Strong protocol by a factor of n in terms of communication complexity. However, uh, our idea doesn't fare well uh, in terms of adaptive adversaries and is only secure against static adversaries. This uh, trade-off, as well as another observation, uh, are the motivation for the next improvements that we make. This additional observation is that uh, in many MPC settings, instead of single sender broadcast, what we actually want is parallel broadcast, as we explained later earlier, uh, where every party wants to send their own messages. And what we do in our next results is that we show how to, in the synchronous parallel broadcast setting against dishonest ad adversaries and against adaptive adversaries, sorry, uh, who achieve dishonest majority, how to achieve protocols with 
improved communication in terms of the state of the art, both with and without trusted setup. We do so, again, by using gossiping techniques um, in a secure way. And via this path, we analyze a new method of communication, of propagation of messages, uh, which we call Converge. If you enjoyed this teaser, you can watch our talk uh, in the upcoming crypto, or you can read our paper uh, on ePrint. Have a great day.